Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve these two problems which is related to this particular diagram. And the problem says that the crimping tool is used to crimp the end of the wire E. If a force of 20 pound is applied to the handles, determine the average shear stress in the pin at A. The pin is subjected to double shear and has a diameter of 0 0.2 inches. Only a vertical force is exerted on the wire. So the problem says that if 20 pound force is applied to the handles of this tool, then we have to find the shear stress developed in this pin, which is located at point A. And the second problem says that we, we have to find, we have to solve the same problem. We have to find the average shear stress for pin B as well. If the pin is subjected to double shear and has a diameter of 0.2 inches so first of all uh, we are going to consider this particular part of this tool and we will consider this as a free body diagram so this is our free body diagram and you guys can see that uh, if we have a 20 pound force here so here we will have the force of that cd link and this in cd is a um, Two force member, right? So, um, what will happen is that um, these two 20 pound forces are going to compress uh, this CD member. So, if it is going to compress this CD member, what will what it will do is that uh, this will apply the force on point D in the downward direction, right? Similarly, at B, since it's a pin joint, so we will have BX and we will have BY. So now if we apply the equilibrium conditions for this free body diagram, so if we apply the sum of the moment about um, point B equals to zero, and if we consider the counterclockwise moment is positive, then you guys can see that uh, this FCD is producing the clockwise moment about point B. So the clockwise moment is negative, we can say FCD, and the moment arm of this FCD from that point B is this distance, which is which is one inch, right? The distance between point B and D is one inch. So we'll multiply this with one inch. And similarly, this 200 pound force is producing the counterclockwise moment about point B. So the counterclockwise moment is positive. This is 20 multiplied by the perpendicular distance of this 20 pound force from that point B, so which is six inches. So you guys can see that this is 5 plus 1, so this is 6 inches. So this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus FCD is equal to minus 20 into 6, minus will cancel out and FCD comes out to be 120 pounds. And now if we apply the sum of the forces in the X, that must be equal to 0, towards the right is our positive X direction. Now as you guys can see that we have BX in the positive x and there is no other force in the x so we can say that bx is equal to zero and similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the y that must be equals to zero upward direction is considered to be positive then we have this by in the upward direction so we can write that this is plus by minus fcd fcd is in the downward direction so fcd is 120 and that 20 pound force is in the upward direction so that is positive so plus 20, this is equal to zero. And from this, we can say that BY is equal to plus 120 minus 20. And BY comes out to be 100 pounds. So uh, if you want to find the resultant force, the, the resultant injection force of pin B, so we can say that B are, is equal to BX square plus by square under the square root since bx is zero so this will be equal to by which is 100 pounds similarly um, if we consider this now this particular part as a free body diagram then we will be able to find the support reactions at a since to solve this particular um, to find the average shear stress on in the pin at a we must find the reaction force of pin A and similarly to find this particular part then we have to find the resultant force the resultant reaction force of pin B so we have found the resultant reaction force of pin B and now uh, in order to find uh, 
the shear stress on pin A, we have to find the resultant injection force of pin A. So for that, since pin A is located somewhere here, then we have to solve for this particular part and we have to consider this as a free body diagram. So this is our free body diagram. So again, you guys can see that um, here on this particular part, uh, this Bx and By, they will reverse because because these forces are action and reaction forces, right? So we will have Bx here and we will have By here in the opposite directions and similarly here since uh, point A is a pin joint as well so we will have A, Y and an X and the force which is applied on the wire so this is our point E so I will write that this is our point E so since we want to find the support reaction at A we can apply the sum of the moment about point E that must be equal to zero counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now you guys can see that this ax is passing through e it's not going to produce the moment about point e this ay is producing the counterclockwise moment so i will write plus a y uh, and um, the moment arm of this a y from that point e is this distance which is 1.5 so this is 1.5 and bx is zero from here and by is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus by is we know it is 100 pounds so 100 multiplied by the moment arm which is the perpendicular distance from this point e to by which is 2 plus 1.5 which is 3.5 so 3.5 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that ay is equal to plus 100 into 3.5 divided by 1.5 so this will give us a y so 100 multiplied by 3.5 divided by 1.5 this gives us a y equals to 233.33 pounds similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x then you guys can see that Ax is in the positive and Bx is in the negative direction. So we can say that plus Ax minus Bx, Bx is 0, this is equal to 0, this means that Ax is equal to 0. So if you want to find the resultant reaction force uh, applied on pin A, so that will be um, Ax square plus Ay square and this is equal to we can say that ax is 0 so 0 square plus ay is 233.33 square so this will give us a equals to 233.33 pounds now since we want to find the average shear stress in pin a and pin b so if i draw pin a so this will be my pin a let's say and the force applied on pin a is um, in the vertical direction and it's going to be in this direction let's say so this is uh, a force which is 233.33 and the shear force is since it is subjected to double shear so we will have va on the cross section we have the shear force is va so now if we apply the sum of the forces in this vertical direction we can say that 2 va we can say that for pin a 2 v a minus a is equal to 0 and from this we can say that v a is equal to a divided by 2 so a is 233.33 divided by 2 which is equal to this answer divided by 2 116.67 pounds and to find the average shear stress on pin a we can say that the average shear stress on pin a is v a which is VA and area of pin A. So VA is 116.67 and area of A is pi divided by 4 multiplied by the die of pin A is uh, 0 0.2. So we can say 0 0.2 square. So this is equal to we can say 116.67 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.2 square this gives us 3713.7 and the units will be since this is in pounds and this is in inches square so 
this is pound per inch square or we can say pound per inch square is also psi or we can say that this is equal to 3.71 uh, kpsi or we can say ksi similarly we, we, we have to find the average shear stress on pin b which will be equal to vb divided by area of b again if we consider pin b and pin b is also subjected to shear stress so we will have the same pin diagram and on pin b um, we will have the force in this direction and that will be the resultant force on b and we will have the shear force vb and we will have the shear force vb as well so again vb will be equal to b if we apply the sum of the forces in this direction so we can say that 2 vb minus b is equal to 0 and we can say that vb is equal to b divided by 2 so we know that b is 100 right from here we know that b is 100 so this will be vb is equal to 100 divided by 2 is 50 pounds so we can say vb is 50 divided by area of b which is pi divided by 4 dia of b is uh, 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 square so we we only have to modify this in calculator since the dia remains the same for both of them this is 50 so this gives us average shear stress of pin B is 1591.5 pound per inch square or we can say PSI or we can say 1.59 KSI. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.